Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to race 2 of round 4 of the Power Max Racing Renault Megan Trophy here with Next Gen at Lego Maggiore, the second variant and what a race 1 we've just had, it was absolutely superb lots of action, lots of fighting and the last corner ditch overtake in the end and it did in the end go the way of Dominator 3 and D Harley was gutted not to get that race win he was so close in the end but it was a great fight between the two really wonderful in the end we had a great fight for seventh place as well between next gen danzo and 1805 long time rivals within the megan trophy championship so those two had another good fight uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> 1805 and danzo looks like they're going to be trying to team up comedically i suppose <laughs> Uh, to keep hold of those those positions it's been a good fight in, in lobby two they've hoping for some more of the same in this reverse grid race it'll be greener army 2009 on pole reverse grid pole once again and shadow stalker dps will be on the second place grid that'll be on the front row alongside greener army be hoping to see some good performances from Shadow Stalker. Um, he did look relatively midfield pace during that first race, but he was so far behind, we're not quite certain what happened to him. So hopefully he'll be able to put a bit more of a fight up during this second event. So the drivers will be starting the racing in around about three minutes time. So no rush to get things underway. We're riding with Shadow Stalker and Silver Fox 40 at the moment. Silver Fox just going out getting a little bit more practice in. Why not? No harm in doing that for the drivers to get out there. Get out there. Get a little bit of an eye in for the second race. Sometimes that little bit of a quick practice in between the two races tend to help and refocus a driver after a difficult race one maybe take the circuit out on a on a little bit of an anger trip duds has just pulled to the side of the road it's like everybody has clicked enter though which is good news we didn't want a repeat of what happened last week we want to make sure all 13 drivers that are due to take part are in so looking good for the time being Having a quick look in the Megan, Megan rather the Megan comments. <laughs> Don't know what a Megan is. A couple of drivers are saying that Big Madaz in particular was saying that he didn't have a, a great time of it. He had, ended up having six track limit penalties as Shadow Stalker goes off the circuit there. Silver Fox gets his first flying lap, fastest lap there, two minute three point seven. Sky, a couple of others have just come out on circuit as well. But yeah, Big Mad has six track, track limit penalties. He was looking very quick in practice, wasn't he? He was provisionally fastest in, in practice. He was on the front row for the first race, but it just didn't play out for him. So he's got to try and knuckle down now and hopefully for him get a better race result in what we're about to have in the preceding 15 minute sprint race. We're about to take part in shortly. The driver's just getting that last little bit of... Last little iron, ready to go. And then we will go from there. So I'll just put a quick comment in just to say race starting shortly so no one's caught off guard. Sort of a last minute warning, just double check to see that all the drivers have entered for tonight, which they have done, which is good. And we shouldn't have any issues. This is great news, we'll double check the race settings just to make sure that we have the reverse grid. We do. Let's get things underway. So, race two here around this Italian lake circuit. Could be in for a cracker here. 
It's Greener Army who will start on the reverse grid pole in that green dread sponsored car. Shadowstalker on the left hand side in that red car. Big Z and Silver Fox for the start on that second row. It'll be fascinating to see who leads going out of turn one. 15 minutes on the right hand side though. Here come the numbers. The race is live from Lego Maggiore Race 2. It's a fantastic start from Greener Army. He's shot off the line. Biggs is already up to second. The cameramen are doing excellent work as they go in towards turn one. Greener Army has the clear run into turn one. Shadowstalker fights back from his poor start. He stayed in second place. Bigsy trying to get along the inside of them as they come towards turn three and four. Shadowstalker goes straight through. Greener Army just getting out of the way. But Greener Army will be proud of the fact that he led a race. And Bigsy gets past Shadowstalker. So Bigsy now leads. Three changes for the lead already in the opening five corners. 1805 looking for a move. He's up to second place now. Haas has had an incredible start. He's up to fourth looking at third place. He wants to get that first ever race win. He's really challenging for it already. Silver Fox 40 down into fifth place. Danzo sixth. Duds, that's Greener Army into the wall and his time with the rest of the group is over. Duskyver in 12th place. He's gone backwards. Dominator, Chalk. They're all squabbling over position. Chalk never gets the best of starts and he's gone backwards down to ninth. He should realistically be up the front, but has had an incredible start. 18.05. Also looking for a potential race victory. He's gone a little bit wide. Going through turns 8, 9 and 10. We'll come out of this, come straight back in to get those camera angles. As we do need them. There's Hartley up into 8th. Dutch trying to go around the outside of Silver Fox 40. Danzo's had a great run. He's going to get past Danzo. Rather, Danzo's going to get past Shadowstalker. He's trying to squeeze him in. Sure enough, he gets through. Silver Fox 40 trying to go around the outside at turn 13. A bit sideways. There's Dutch looking for a switch back, which he's got. Hartley trying to get involved in all this. They're almost four adjacent. As they come towards turn number 14 for the first time, we're right on board of Silver Fox 40. There's no gap for him. He's going to have to back out of it. A little bit of contact with Shadowstalker. Shadowstalker's been pushed wide down to 10th. He's lost another two places because of that contact. Hartley up to 7th of the two championship protagonists. That's Haas up to 2nd place. So KZ2 Haas in 2nd place after starting in 9th. Seven places made up, but 1805 will not give this up. 1805 looking for a race win himself. Coming towards turn one, Big Z leads the lap, of course. Very frenetic in these opening two and a half minutes. But Haas holds the position, and he's got a free run to go after Big Z, who leads again this season in that pink and green Amp Shabbat car. Great racing so far. Opening couple of corners, opening laps, been very, very frantic. The drivers need to make up as many positions as quickly as they possibly can. Biggs has got a terrible lag through turns four. He's graced by the fact that Haas couldn't do anything. 1805's trying to go on the grass, he's trying to do a grass... Oh, wow! I thought he was going to try and do a pass in the grass move there, but he didn't quite pull it off. And Danzo is just going to go past him, around the outside. I said someone would try and do that through turn number seven, and sure enough, they did that there. Danzo ran the outside of 18.05. So, the top four, I don't believe, have ever won a race in the Megans. I'm trying to think back to 18.05 in season 17. He might have done. I believe he has off the top of my head. Could be wrong, but we'll have to go back on the statistics on that one just to double check. But he runs right over the curb. He wants to get involved in that fight at the front because he can see Haas is up the inside of Bigsy and through into the lead goes KZ2 Haas, never having won a race before, he's now leading for the second time this season, Danzo has got a great run, he's going to try and go past Bigsy and Bigsy just drops off the back, he just slots in, he doesn't want to fight he just wants to get on with it he wants as good a position as good a result as he can he's going to he's enable Duds to get within a second of that group and that's enough for slipstreaming Danzo in 1805 already fighting hard for that second place. They're trying to scrabble onto the back of KZ2 Haas. And 1805, I suspect, so far in these early stages, has looked the quicker of the two. They should work together just to try and get onto the back of Haas, who's already opening up that gap at the front. It's eight tenths. And 1805 clears next gen Danzo. So into second place. That's Big C's run a little bit wide. Duds is already up to fourth. Big Madaz. He looked very quick in practice. He's up to sixth. Then there's a bit of a gap back to Hartley in seventh. Silver Fox 40's in eighth. Duskyver in ninth. Dominator 10. Not 
not that he's at intent rather. Not having the best of times, he's all over the circuit. He's going to lose the points he's just gained in his championship fight. The Shadow Stalker 11 for Chalk is having a torrid old time. Again, another another race where he's looked very quick, but he's just gone backwards. Not much he can do about it. At the front, 18.05, making sure he keeps Haas on his toes. 18.05 in second place at the current moment. Danzo third, but Duds... Sniffing a second race victory is right there. Big Madaz is also not too far behind. Oh, Danzo running a little bit deep. That's a very good line from Duds. Just going to put Danzo under pressure. Trying to swoop through his Duds, but not quite there. Nine and a half minutes to go for the drivers. Line astern at the moment, the top five. Big Madaz just got his line a little bit wrong coming through turn 13. And Duds is going to be on the inside, coming into turn 14, or is he? No, he has to get the slipstream. Will he try and look for a move up the inside on Danzo? Oh, a little bit of... Unsure of themselves, both Duds and Danzo were unsure where the other one was. Didn't get it quite right, but 18.05 didn't get it right either. And Danzo's trying to make a late lunge up the inside. A little bit of contact between him and 18.05. Duds is going to take that position with ease. And up to third goes Duds. It doesn't get a good exit, and Big Madaz can't retaliate either on that one. So Danzo back at the inside of Duds as they go on to lap number four now with eight minutes 40 to go. Big Madaz just coasting, make sure he doesn't hit anyone. If he can get a good line through turn one, he could get up the inside of Danzo, which he's doing. He's on the inside for turn two. A little bit of contact between the two blue cars, but Big Madaz clears him. Gives a lot of room to Danzo. Arguably too much, and sure enough, Danzo straight back up the inside. Big Z's right there as well. There's D Hartley in 7th place. He's got a car between himself and Dominator. And Duskyver has gone backwards as well. So, at the moment, the fight for a podium has just been separated because Danzo is desperately trying to hang on to 4th place now. Big Madaz... Wants to try and move forward. He's got the best lap so far as Big Mad has. What can the drivers do? S about half this race left to go. Big Mad has will be getting frustrated. He knows he's quicker than Danzo. He's got to try and get past him if he wants to join that group at the front. There's his opportunity. Big Mad has cleans his way through. Danzo just got the line wrong. Fully entitled to try and get back onto the racing line. But Big Mad has was there. Put his car in the way and he covers that inside line, does Big Madaz. Good driving. Big Z trying to get involved. There's D Hartley. He gets himself up to sixth place. So good overtaking from these drivers. Big Madaz gets past Danzo. And now can Hartley follow him through? He's going to try and look to the inside, but Danzo covers the line. Big Z trying to go around the outside. Big Z still looking for a little move at Hartley. This isn't over yet for Hartley. He's got to try and make sure he. Covers off that inside line into the penultimate corner, which he has done. He's gone deep into the corner, though. Bigsy's going to be there. Just putting him in uncomfortable positions is Bigsy. Bigsy trying to go around the outside at the final corner. I've not seen this done before. He's just gone a little bit on the grass. I suspect that Hartley will have the momentum going into turn one. Stay on with Bigsy. And sure enough, he does. 18.05 has gone backwards. He was running in second place. He's down in fourth. Big Madaz is up to third. Duds is up to second. Six minutes on the clock. KZ2 Haas looking for a first ever victory. Can he do it? A debutant in season 17, missed season 19. Missed virtually all of season 18, practically. I don't think he took part in anything outside the opening race. Can he get that first race win? He's got Duds not too far away. Lap times are looking solid so far. Big Mad has, though. He's been pressured by 18.05. He's going to want a podium for his troubles. He knows he can do better. Cuts the corner, does Big Madaz. We've seen some people get away with that tonight. Oh, 1805's gone wide. Danzo's going to see his opportunity. He jerks to the inside. 
1805 very much shutting the door there. Certainly didn't want the Adrian Flux car coming free. Dominator 3, despite going off the circuit at one point, right back in the action. He's up to 7th. Disguive is in 8th. Bigsy's gone down to 9th after his cameo in the lead. Silver Fox 10th. Shadow Stalker 11th. Chuck 12th. Is 12th. And Greener Army is in 13th. It's Hass who leads. Duds is 2nd. He's doing his best to try and close that gap is Duds. Big Madaz has got himself into third, but it's going to take a Herculean effort to try and get up to Duds and Hass in front of him. 1805 and Danzo find himself together. Hartley in the in the broils of all of that as well. And Dominator 3 will take any opportunity he gets to try and get past these two in front of him. You can see Danzo just a little bit sideways, maybe using a little bit more rear brake bias than most. Disguiver's right behind them as well. Disguiver's had a little bit of an anom on a, uh, anonymous pair of races, but he'll be open to try and get a few overtakes done before the chequered flag flies in four minutes' time. You see the cars all lined up together. You see the train of cars right the way up to Big Madaz. Big Mad has, hasn't been able to get away from 1805. He was a second, over a second clear, but the gap's down to 6 tenths. So 1805, wanting a second podium this season. Oh, he's run deep. He's going to have to try and cut the corner. He's done it really awkwardly, unfortunately. He's lost more time. And if he gets a penalty as a result, as he goes off the circuit, he's going to be very bitter about it. It looks like he's avoided the penalty, fortunately. for him. Oh, he hasn't. Well, 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 he's got to try and clear that too. I, I sus I'd say that's rather harsh. But he's going to have to try and deal with that. Danzo doing a great job of keeping Dee Hartley behind him at the moment. But Dee Hartley's going to look for this move into turn 14. Will he go to the inside? He doesn't. Danzo covers the line. Dominator hasn't made as much of an impression as I thought he was going to on these two. But I think if he could just keep Dee Hartley in his sights, he'll stick with that. Oh, Big Mad has a huge tweak off the... Corny, he's got his line all wrong. 1805 tried to get on the throttle, but he was too early. Mistakes galore for the fight for the final podium spot. Big Madaz wants a podium. He was quick enough during practice. He needs to just keep his focus. 1805, no stranger to podiums in this series, in this championship. Already had one at the start of the season with that second place around Dragon Trail. He wants another one. Danzo's just holding off Dominator. Dominator in the gra grass. He's got to try and get back on, which he's done quite well. Oh, I'm not sure what that line was from Dominator. I think he was trying to get out of the way more than anything. Oh, Danzo now taking to the grass as well. Less. One more lap to go left in this race. I'm not sure how Dominator's avoided the penalty there, but he has. One more lap to go. The gap. Two seconds at the front for this man. Before this championship started, he drove the garage tile floor company car to KZ2 Haas. His best result. A couple of second places in season 17. He's on his way now. Dud's doing his best to try and catch up, but I think he made a mistake on the last lap. Second off his best time. Dominator's gone down the order. What's happened to Dominator? He was in sixth. He's not anymore. He's down in ninth. He's got Bigsy and Duskyver. And look at Danzo trying to make a move up the inside. He can't quite get the car stuck up the inside of Hartley. Hartley has three cars between himself and Dominator. Dominator, you know, though, will go for this on the final lap. Some of the drivers running the car brake bias as Danto goes sideways out of the final corner again. Some of the cars, the drivers, they're running a the rear brake bias, and I would recommend using realistically maybe plus one on the brake bias for the drivers around this variant. Oh, big C into the back of Disguiver. 
Off the circuit. Goes to Skyver. Bigsy actually slowed down to make sure he didn't make an advantage, but that's allowed Dominator through. And up to eighth. D Hartley will be holding out a placard for Duskyver, telling him don't let him through. We are on the final lap, ladies and gentlemen. Silver Fox 40 in 10th. Greener Army having a fun time. Gaps come down a little bit at the front. 1.7. Hass knows he's in control of this race victory. Just got to be him now. He's the only one that can influence it. The Duds will continue trying to chase him down. Big Madaz in third place. In the purple sector that last lap. He's flying his Big Madaz. Could he try and catch Duds before the end? I mean, it'd be a great challenge if he did. I said it would require a Herculean effort. 18.05 in fourth, but he's on the grass again. He's taking an alternative line through turn number 12. Is, is, TR, is uh, 18.05 rather. Danzo in 6th place, Duskyver 7th, Dominator trying to just put him off, he's trying to be all in his mirrors. Duds and Big Madaz are together. Look at Big Madaz, he's trying to go on the inside. He's going to try and have to, he's going to have to try and do this the hard way going into the penultimate corner, he's got a penalty. Not ideal for Big Madaz, he's probably not going to be able to clear that before, but it's going to be for the first time ever. KZ2 Haas takes the victory here at Lego Maggiore, fantastic. Duds will take second place, Big Madaz just clears his, no he doesn't, he didn't clear his penalty. 18.05 gets the podium, Big Madaz is fourth, Hartley fifth, Danzo sixth, Duskyver seventh place, he held off Dominator three, Big Z in ninth. Chalk 12 beats Silver Fox 40 to the line in 11th. And Shadowstalker will be 12th. The Greener Army has seen the chequered flag. But it's KZ2 Haas for the first time ever. Wins a race in the McGann's. He had a superb opening lap. He flew off the grid. Got up to the bleed and never looked back. It's his first win in the McGann's. Well done to Haas. Great result for Duds, that's four podiums in a row now for Duds, that's a great effort from him in that fast car. Third place, a surprise podium for 1805, but he's got another one. Good momentum for him, he'll need that in the championship, he's a little bit lower down than where he should be at the moment. Ash, look how happy he is with that, <laughs> very happy boy. And Big Mad does it, should have been his podium, but a penalty right at the end, a little bit harsh I have to say. But it was a penalty, he couldn't clear it. And in the end, he took fourth with fifth place going the way of D. Hartley. Couple of points gained back in that championship for him. He needs that, absolutely. But that's it for the Renault Megans for this week's set of races. Absolutely fabulous to watch for the Megans. Next week, round five, before the mid season break, they will be heading off to the great circuit of Interlagos in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That'll be a great one to watch, no doubt. But nevertheless, as always, I've been Jack TM53, your commentator in Lobby 2 as always. Do make sure you check out Next Gen Racing on our social media channels. That, of course, of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. Don't forget as well to check out the Lobby 1 Racing of the Power Max Renault Megane Trophy. That's on CJW Racing's streams on Twitch and on YouTube as well. Always brilliant to watch both lobbies. Thank you to you, Duds, as well. But nevertheless, it's been a wonderful night of racing. But wherever you might be in the big wide world, see you soon.